the Primary Arms 3X Prism Scope. Let's check it out. Finding the right optic for your rifle can be very challenging, mainly because there are just so many choices out on the market. Uh, and some good, some bad. Uh, you have your red dots that are no magnification and you can go all the way up to super magnification with a precision rifle scope. And of course, the budget is also all over the place. Uh, today we're going to take a look at the Primary Arms 3X Prism Scope. This has the ACSS reticle. And I'm going to give you some reasons why I would choose this scope on a rifle. Now the compact size really allows this to be used more in a CQB situation, but you also have the 3X magnification capability to be able to get out to targets at more distance. Really this scope uh, fits the role of the Trigicon ACOG. Uh, this is a four power and we've got a three power underneath. And that's one of the reasons why these scopes are so popular because it's kind of that medium range type scope where it has magnification but you can use it uh, in a self-defense type situation for up close and personal shots. But one of the big things that the prism scope has over the ACOG is this diopter at the back, this focus ring. If your eyes are anything less than 20-20, having a diopter on the back of your scope is key. Uh, this assumes that you have 20-20 vision with the ACOG. With the diopter, you can focus in and make that reticle crisp and the target comes into view. And to me, this is one of the big pluses for this prism scope. But one thing that the primary arm scope has over all of its competitors is the ACSS reticle. That is my favorite reticle system, hands down. Now this ACOG has the ACSS reticle. It's an exclusive with primary arms but the price is the biggest difference. You know, we're talking about $259 with the 3X Prism. We're talking about $900 with the Trigicon ACOG. Plus primary arms will give you a anti-reflective lens, which is similar to the kill flash and free shipping if you use the link down in the description. Doesn't this look just incredible? I mean, if you like FDE, you know, I mean, this scope just really kind of puts this whole system together. You know, if you don't, if you like the black rifle, it comes in the black as well. So, you know, the there's a lot of choices out there, but I really think that it puts this together, and I love the color tone. I mean, it's a beautiful color to it. This is just a Wyndham Weaponry uh, MPC carbine. I have one of the Midwest Industries rails. Uh, this is the Gen 3, a Hogue uh, overmold stock, and then a Hogue pistol grip. Uh, and then of course Magpul offset sights. Now this is the 5.56 or 308 model. Uh, when you sight it in for your 5.56 dead on with your 308 at 100 yards, you just sight it in at one inch high at 100 yards and then it takes care of the rest with the ACSS reticle system. And again, you can get this in the 7.62 by 39 or 300 blackout model. It is a very simple optic. Uh, it's just 3X, You've got the reticle system that really makes this the big difference. Honestly, the, the reticle system is what takes this to another place. It's nitrogen filled, so it's gonna be fog proof uh, and it's gonna be waterproof. But the big thing is it's gonna be shock proof. And that's one of the things about these scopes. They are tough. They're some of the toughest scopes on the market. So you can mount this, you don't have to worry about it. This can be an excellent go-to scope. You know, a lot of times when you get something that's less price, you're kind of concerned that it may not be you know, that go-to uh, because it may not be able to handle it, but the, the 3X Prism can handle it. Now here we have the illumination turret and it, there are 11 settings plus zero. Uh, so it goes all the way from one, which is, this is not night vision compatible, but it's a very low light 
setting and then it just goes all the way up. You can feel when it stops. It's not real definite, but it just kind of falls into that little angle. And so then, of course, back here is your dot to be able to set it to where you want to. So all you got to do is look up and you know where you're set. Uh, I'm not sure on the battery life of these. I know that the battery that was in here when I first started doing the review uh, was a little bit dim, but I had it on the 11 setting for at least five days. <laughs> so that's the brightest. And so I replaced the battery. It's one of the CR2032 batteries. You can get them, uh, you know, in a number of different places. In fact, I buy them on eBay. Uh, but it has some knurling that makes it really easy to grab hold of. Uh, now, when you're going to take the battery cap off, that knurling really helps because the battery cap, of course, is tight. It's double O-ring sealed. Uh, so we have a really positive inside's an O-ring, and then right here's an O-ring. And then you have your battery, again, which is the 2032. You know, even in this low light, uh, you're still getting a really good crisp picture uh, with the just the black. And, of course, this is great for daylight. Now we're going to go to the one just barely illuminating two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now eight starts to really brighten up. Nine, ten. Then again, the brightest setting. I mean, guys, that is just beautiful. And you can see how the reticle works. When you look through it, your eye is going to be focused with that horseshoe that goes around to the small little donut in the middle. So it's going to be a very quick sight to be able to get on target. And this is how I typically run it in the black. And you can see, guys, it just picks up. So even if your electronics fail, you've still got your etched reticle. Now, the ACSS, or Advanced Combat Sighting System reticle, is to me one of the best on the market. There's no math involved. Um, it's an auto ranging scope. It has a bullet drop compensation. It has wind holdovers and it has leads for running or walking targets. The large donut ring on the outside allows you to really focus in for CQB. Then when you have the small inner donut, you're able to kind of fine tune. It goes from 200 dead on. So from one to 200 dead on. Then at the inside of the horseshoe, it's 300 yards. And then the next line is 400, 500, and then 600. The little hash marks that go down the bullet drop compensator represent 18 inches at those distances, which is the shoulder width of the average man. And then on the right and left side of the donut, you see those little grids. That's for a man standing 5 foot 10 inches so if a man is standing within the bracket with his feet at the bottom and his head touching the top line, he is at 300 yards, 400 yards, 500 yards. And then if his feet are touching the bottom and that last line, that means that he is at 600 yards. Now the two dots on either side of the inner donut are leads. And a man running at 8.6 miles per hour, you place the dot on him and fire. And by the time he reaches the center, you'll hit your target. Uh, with a man walking, it's the outside of the donut, then you fire, and then by the time he gets to the center, the shot will hit. Now the vertical line that goes down from the center donut, those are five mile per hour leads. So if the wind is blowing five miles per hour, you just use each of the dots, and then if it's ten, you just double it. And once you start using the ACSS reticle system, it is really simple. And that's what I love about this optic. We have windage and elevation turrets on either side. They are tethered and uh, they're very smooth. Then you can set your windage or elevation uh, and it's quarter MOA. So it's a nice fine MOA where you can move it. With the elevation turret, let's go ahead and open it up and give you a closer look. Like I said, quarter MOA clicks. Tactile and audible. Nice fine threads and it just screws on really nice. And you have your Picatinny rail on top where you can place an RMR on here for those really close engagements if you need to. I love this focus ring because I can really get my reticle crisp where I want it. And the older I get, it seems the more I need this. It's a 39 millimeter objective, so you have a nice wide field of view. Uh, with the mount itself, it, ta it takes all the Trigicon mounts. 
Now, one thing that they do recommend, because people take their mounts on and off, and so these are not Loctited in. So the first thing you need to do is to unscrew these and then put some Loctite, blue Loctite on them, and then screw them down. Now, the 3X is compatible with ACOG mounts, and here we have the standard mount that goes uh, with the scope. Now, I took this one off. I'm going to replace it with the American Defense Manufacturing Quick Detach lever mount. One of the big upgrades that I like with the 3X primary arms is the helicoil when you're placing your mounts. And typically, like with the 2.5, it was just aluminum threads and going into an aluminum base. This has these helicoil threads, which are steel, which will mate with the steel screws. Now here's a sample target that we were shooting. Uh, really the rifle and the ammunition are what give you the accuracy, but the scope allows you to get you know, really good accuracy. And uh, we were using 55 grain new manufactured Freedom Munitions. Uh, and so we weren't using really match ammo, and yet we were still able to get really tight groups. Now the 3X Prism is definitely comparable again to the ACOG. And there's a lot of the size is about the same. Uh, the way it moves, the way it functions, I mean, it's just a good durable scope like the ACOG. Uh, one of the biggest differences though is prism scopes usually weigh a little more. It's the way the mechanisms are set in here to make it so rugged. Now as far as weight of the 3X Prism with the mount, 15.8 ounces. Trijicon ACOG with an American Defense mount, which weighs a little more, 14 ounces. So you have a couple of ounce difference, but the American Defense mount is going to weigh a little more. So we're probably talking more about 13 ounces. Uh, I believe this scope, I checked on the Primary Arms website, these were $8.99, so under $1,000. So if you really want the weight savings and spend the extra money, then go for it. But uh, as far as capability-wise, I think the 3X is going to suit well. Now, the ACOG does have a tritium insert, which is very faint, but it's very effective. And then we also have the fiber optic right here to light up your reticle system. Now, the primary arms is illuminated, and that makes a difference, but it is an etched reticle. So it's really two different systems, but they pretty much work the same and fit the same roles. But again, guys, I'm not trying to talk you out of the ACOG. It is awesome. Now the 3X Prism does come with scope caps. I took them off and I didn't have them handy, but they are included. Now these scopes are multi-coated um, and the glass is really nice in these scopes for the price. Uh, but it's very reflective as well. And so that little anti-reflective device that screws right in here would be very helpful. I want to thank Freedom Munitions for sponsoring the ammo. Uh, you get a 5% Such 00 discount on the Freedom Munitions website, which is always a good thing. Now, as far as pros and cons, we're going to talk about cons first, uh, mainly because just it's a little bit heavier because of the prism system. Uh, it just, you know, it builds it up, it beefs it up, so it makes it very strong. But if you want something really light on your rifle, you know, that could be an issue. It doesn't change the balance of the rifle, though, and that's one thing. The compact size makes it nice. You don't really realize it, but uh, if you're really trying to shave those ounces down, you know, then go with the Trijicon ACOG and spend, you know, a lot more money. But it does bring it down some. Really, that to me is pretty much the only thing. Now, as far as a comparison with the Trijicon ACOG straight up, uh, you know, the glass is just incredible. But the glass in the primary arms is, is very nice. I mean, it's good quality glass. And then you get your ACSS reticle and your illumination. The big thing though with the primary arms is the diopter ring right here. I mean, especially if you have eyesight that's less than 20-20, that is a huge plus for this scope. But the ACSS reticle again is like we've talked about. I mean, 
I don't need to talk about it anymore. I've already talked way more than I need to. Then we have the RMR and just the size and the again the price. Uh, to me, this is a nine out of ten as far as you know on a scale of one to ten. If you're looking for that medium magnification scope that you can use out to you know up 600 yards um, or up close to 20 yards so it gives you a lot of options if you want more magnification you're gonna have to go with more magnification and a larger scope uh, they do make the 5x prism scope as well uh, and it's a little more it's heavier it's bigger but that gives you that much more capability so as far as I'm concerned this is an excellent scope for what its role is intended for and I want to thank Primary Arms for sending the 3X Prism Scope uh, for the test and evaluation and also for uh, offering the anti-reflective lens and free shipping on these scopes. If you use the link down below in the description, it is an affiliate link and it does help support the Suits channel. Uh, but this is an excellent optic and guys, I think if you check out the reviews on any of the ACSS or Primary Arms products, you'll find that you know they're just really it really has a high reputation not just from what I'm saying but from what a lot of other guys are saying and from experience this is a solid optic be strong be of good courage God bless America long live the Republic So, where they're going to give you a. So, if you want to go for you know a lot, let, let, if you're really wanting to get superior accurate, accurate, and it does have the wretched edical. It has the edical. Now, I don't know if the edical. Um, <laughs> that's just funny, edical. Yes. That makes two of us. Ha, ha, ha.